Guess what is in front of us? It's amazing, it's big, it's incredible. <laughs> I think you can guess what we are talking about. <laughs> We are in Kuala Lumpur, the heart of Malaysia, full of iconic landmarks, delicious food, crazy shopping malls, and so much more. And we are going to explore it all. Oh, and people are impressed by the Eiffel Tower. This is impressive. Our first stop was the Petronas Towers, an iconic twin skyscraper. But the heat was killing me. It's really warm, look at my shirt. And I think it's not even like <laughs> summer or so. No. <laughs> to be honest, I've been before in Kuala Lumpur. It's me already too. Yeah, you too, yeah. right? For me, it's almost nine years ago. And I had never oh, yeah. seen Kuala Lumpur with blue skies. You see the sky. And yeah. when I was here, you just didn't see no blues, no sky, nothing because of the pollution. Oh yeah? Uh, yeah, so now I think because it's winter, it's better. And I'm really happy because it looks amazing. The buildings, everything looks so impressive. Now we're gonna enter under the tower. Oh, aircon, too much aircon. In Malaysia, everywhere you go, they put the aircon in full blast. And now I know why. Because as soon as you go outside, you're sweating like a pig. Okay, I thought it would be just a walkway from one side to the other, but there's a huge mall inside. So maybe we can go and grab our lunch here. We have a Christian Dior makeup. What is that, Nira? I've never seen that. It's so is that crazy. A big brand? Christian Dior. Dior. I don't know. A Dior, I Dior, know. yeah. Balls in Malaysia are so impressive. It's and like... we are going to visit way more crazy malls. So if you want to see that one, <laughs> subscribe to our channel. Yes, this is us spending 24 hours in the biggest shopping mall of Kuala Lumpur. And this is not the only crazy mall we visited. Back outside in the sun, but I think we have to go further away from the towers to get a full on view you don't even see now in the camera. This does look really impressive from here, but please don't mind my sweaty t-shirt. It is what it is. He's carrying a 12 kilo heavy backpack. But I also sweat a lot in general. Why are we talking in front of Petronas Tower <laughs> about our sweat? How many floors is it, do you know? No. And you know the thing which impressed me the most? Is that there's a really beautiful park around the tower. And you're also approaching a swimming pool, so maybe we can go for a dip because it's crazy warm. But this park looks so pretty. You can just come here, chill, have a picnic, take some photos. It's really nice. It's a swimming pool! How cute it is! And I think it is just a kid's swimming pool, right? Yeah, it is this, it is this deep, but it's perfect to just cool down and so for you can go in. You can go, Adi. I also sure. want to go in, I'm so sweaty. We ended up in a really fancy cafe in the Petronas Tower. This is really the biggest cafe we have ever seen, but we are not sure if that's behind me, if that's a mirror. So now I'm going to walk there and check if it's a mirror. It's not a mirror, it is actually this big. I feel a little bit bad that we are in Malaysia and we are sitting in this fancy restaurant paying so much money for just a little bit of food and my almond croissant is here. <coughs> but today evening, I can promise that we're gonna go to a local, authentic Malaysian street food market and I'm really curious to taste the Malaysian taste. Okay, turned out I didn't have to worry. We ate some of the best Malaysian food ever. But for now, let's enjoy this carrot cake and croissant. It's a big one. Look okay. at this. This is just amazing, right? And it was not even that expensive. No. Yeah, like a whole ice cream. So now I think you have to stir with the yeah, ice cream. I don't cream. know. Should I? Yeah, try it. No, I think it's a bit of a waste. Because here's also chocolate, right? Yeah. It's amazing. Oh, Mira, you didn't tell us where, where you are going. I'm going to a hairdresser. And going to a hairdresser outside of your home country is always a bit uh, yeah, it's scary. And I'm going to Tony and Guys. Who's and that? The Adi has no clue, but it's like really good hairdresser. And I've never been, I normally I never spend so much money on a hairdresser. But it was the only place here where they know how to deal with uh, light hair. So uh, let's see. I'm really curious how the experience will be. And then in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur. No. Every time Mira comes from the hairdresser, she spends like two, three hours at the hairdresser and then she comes back home. And by the time she comes back home, I even forget that she went to the hairdresser. And I don't even see much difference in the hair. And I go for... Minus 10 husband. And I go for 10 minutes and Mira already realized that, oh, I got a haircut. Not that I have a lot of hair. 
sometimes he has to get some hospital points again and he has to take me to these kind of places. I'll see you in a three hours. We'll see. Uh, see how quick they are. Bye. See if I can see any difference in Enjoy your hair. Enjoy your life. Yeah. Don't do crazy stuff. Do it. So Mira spent all our money on her hair. That's why she's counting the money. Look at this. It's amazing. I think it's the most money I've ever spent on my hair. But I think when I did the same in the Netherlands, it would be at least double. That's exactly what Mira told me before she told me how much it actually costed her. It was so nice. And I got a, I got a head massage. <gasps> I've never experienced something like that in my life. It was such a nice massage. I will link where I went in the description below. Because if you're traveling and you need to go to a hairdresser, I think this one is you, you know for sure it's going good and she gave so many tips about my hair how to do it better she said for example never put your hair in a bun if it's wet why i didn't know that why i didn't know that we have like a two percent woman watching this video no maybe some men you can all the men this is how you take more care of your girlfriend okay after the nice hair care tutorial session we're gonna go to eat some food because i was here starving waiting for mira and we found some really cool local markets. So hopefully we can find something really nice. And it's uh, raining a little bit. So we're gonna go with the public transport. That's gonna be another adventure. Mira, I'm also walking. I have to protect my hair, Adi. For now on, I'm a different person. Oh, oh. But we are in this really weird season in Kuala Lumpur where it's almost raining every evening. Yesterday also when we were coming to our hotel, it was raining and the driver told it's gonna be raining Every, every day. evening. Yeah. <laughs> every evening. But so it, it's it's not that warm anymore. So no, that's good. That's and really good. <laughs> oh. oh, the clothes are super warm. Crazy warm. You have to touch them. Oh, maybe oh. they just uh, melted it. Yeah, crazy. Uh, so with this coins, I think we can go uh, in the train. Or what is cool. it? Train? Metro? Metro. Metro? <laughs> Our whole shoes are wet, so we have to go that way, right? Yeah, so go on the other side. Yeah. We try to buy Malaysian food, but it is not easy. It's just Chinese. So we have a little bit of update. We survived the rainstorm. There are so many restaurants next to the road, and they are very similar to each other. They, like from the photos, they all look the same. And these are all kind of Chinese restaurants. So, not kind of, they are Chinese restaurants. We were looking for Malaysian ones, but we couldn't find any. But maybe on the other side of the road, or maybe all the food uh, stalls are Malaysian. But of course, they are not today because of the rain. So we ended up... We with... did really our best to try Malaysian restaurants. We are all yeah. soaked, our shoes <laughs> are super wet. But yeah, we couldn't ended up with uh, Chinese food. But I think the food looks amazing. Okay, the food is not bad, but if it was a Malaysian food, it would have been better. Yeah, I'm really curious about the Malaysian food. Because in our breakfast... Oh, so spicy! <laughs> we had a nasi lemak. I really, really enjoyed it. It was crazy good. And we also had a chicken rendang. So I tried the gravy of oh, next level. In the upcoming days, we'll be enjoying Malaysia to the fullest. From crazy big cities, nature, delicious food, riding trains, and so much more. So please subscribe and see you in the next one.